Hi you guys, how's it going? It's Emery with Irish Muscle and today I'm standing here with Nicoletta. You all know Nicoletta by now. How are you? Fine, thank you. How did you find the seminar today? It was lovely. Yeah. yeah, lots of things that I kind of known, you know, they were yeah. kind of confirmed. Yeah. And I think now it's very clear for everyone. Oh, I think so as well, yeah. Yeah. All about, and yeah. I think she's lovely. Yeah. Oh, she was brilliant. She, you know, brought someone more perfect to explain absolutely everything, you know. It's great for the girls over here because, as you know yourself, Bikini was only brought into uh, Nationals there last year in 2012. So and a lot of the girls were pretty confused. I think we all were like, you know, I know obviously we've been to Europeans, even I was sitting beside you and you were picking out the top six and all. I was like, oh my God, how does she know that? Like, so I know you know, you've a good eye like that as well. But I mean, talk about learning from the best. She is the best and certainly the one to have to do a seminar, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah. You know, one thing, I think she's going to put everyone off from doing it because she looks so perfect. She looks great, doesn't she? <laughs> I'm only messing. No, but you know, it's really good, you know, and Colleen was, had a really great idea to bring her in because oh, yeah. she looks so well. I don't think anyone, you know, can say she doesn't go well, especially for people that are not really into all of yeah, these exactly. bodybuilding yeah, yeah, things, yeah. you know, so oh, yeah. it could show, you know, that bikini can be actually nice yeah. and feminine as well. Well, everyone wants to look like her. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> she is the best in the world. She's Miss Olympia bikinis, though. Yeah, so yeah. obviously. <laughs> so, come here, I just want to talk to you now a little bit about um, even upcoming uh, competition now in October, Fitness Extravaganza. Now, for those people who are just view, uh, tuning in today and want to know a little bit more about the show and what's going on, can you just tell us what sort of competition is it, first of all? Okay. Well, first of all, you know, it's very similar to bodybuilding, minus the physique classes and bodybuilding classes. Other than that, we have exactly the classes like that IFBB have at the Europeans and World Championships. And thanks to IFBB from um, next year, we can send people to Europeans and the world as well. Um, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to go through the classes, okay? For female, we have a bikini. Girls, by the way, is exactly like Natalia Melo's look. So try to copy her. <laughs> then we're going to have figure which obviously, you know, we know it already. And then I'm going to have a class which is in between the two, tone figure. Because as we can see, bikini is kind of a curvy, you know, kind of sex appeal look, yeah, okay? Yeah. The other one, figure, kind of big frame with muscles and yeah. being really ripped. Yeah. Unfortunately, most of the girls, especially even in Ireland, you know, this time, they're kind of in between. Yeah, no, you know, some is healthy. And yeah. they could be girls, they're really determined, do the hard work, do the diets, but they can never get away, yeah. you know, yeah. with having the wrong shape or whatever. Yeah. So, you know, this class, don't figure, is actually clothes fitness model. Yeah. Okay, which means, yeah, it would yeah. be like kind of something in between. wouldn't be as big yeah. as the figure, you know, but maybe not as soft as yeah. bikini. Okay, well, that's a great idea. How many rounds is there per category? Uh, well, we have the evening dress, because, yeah. you know, the point was to show everyone yeah. that, you know, girls yeah. can be really feminine. We have the routine, yeah. but the routine, um, we won't have routine for bikini and uh, fitness model. It's going to be just the tea work. But we'll have the routines for uh, figure. And actually, this year, I'm going to introduce a new class, fitness, yeah. which is in international level I've as well. I've seen it, yeah. yeah. yeah it's brilliant. And that's why, uh, as, a ghost po- as a guest poser, I brought Miss Universe. Yeah. Uh, current Miss Universe, you know, Anka Bukur is her name. Yeah. She's going to do a demonstration. Brilliant. and. You know, hopefully it'll pick up from next year. Because I think it's really spectacular, yeah. you know. It's great because there's something for everybody and every type of body type as well. Is there height categories as well now? Or are you just sticking to um, everyone? Has everyone got into the same category as far as height's concerned? Or I'm going to do short and tall because I think it's really hard to judge. And it could be down to what everyone prefers, taller or short, yeah. especially in women. It's not really fair. Yeah. Unless, you know, there'll be only a few girls competing and then they'll be in one class to be yeah, a bit of competition. Exactly. We'll have yeah. short and tall in each one. Yeah. And what's new, uh, also we have uh, master classes for female over 35 and for men over 40. And we'll have juniors under 23 and under 18. Brilliant. And can you tell us who's guest post now at your, com- at your show? Well, first of all, we have Blessing, which hopefully he'll bring a big trophy, <laughs> bring a big trophy, you know, yeah. because he'll be straight after yeah. the Arnold, okay? Yeah. Uh, I'm really happy to say that Natalia Mello is going to come again for the show and yeah. she's going to be the head judge for... Yeah. You know, judging the women. She's a perfect for her head judge, isn't she? Yeah. And actually, before the show starts, she's going to talk a bit with the judges about judging, you know? Because there were so many discussions, and I'm really, really happy. It's hard to do it on my own. So when I have someone like her, it's nothing they can say anymore. (laughs) So they listen to both of us. You have a spot on, won't you? Yeah, definitely, yeah. And, uh, it's going to be great, I'm sure. Um, something different as well. And there's prizes. Can you tell us a little bit about the prizes as well? Yeah, well, same as last year, 500 euro for the overall male and female, uh, Kinetica sponsorship for one year. So they basically they'll get supplements every month and they can order whatever they like to have. And each class is, they're going to have different prices, depends what sponsors, you know, we're still, you know, in the progress of finding that out. And um, one, model, one year modeling contract with assets because they have the fitness modeling now in. 
Yeah. Okay, so yeah. this as well, and the opportunity to compete at the Europeans or the Worlds next year. That's great. And can you just remind us of uh, what date it's um, happening again? Yeah, the competition is going to be on the 20th of October in uh, Source in the right venue. Is there a pre-judging, um, or is it going to run right through the day from like 12? Oh, right. today, because of the routines and the evening dress, it's going to be a lot. And this year we also introduced the open bodybuilding, yeah. because I thought some of the big bodybuilders might like just to, you know, yeah. have a trial, you know, before their big show. Yeah. Or also some of the competitors, you know, they were a bit too big, yeah. and then it wasn't really fair for the others. Yeah. Like yeah. blasting last year in the junior, <laughs> and he was the biggest on stage, so... Oh, well, that's great. Well, the best look, um, so guys... There's, there's everything you need to know, really, so you've no excuse. So, okay, Nicola, great talking, nice talking to you, and we'll talk to you soon, okay? okay All right, thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. bye. Okay, I'll sort you at the end.